What's good with y'all boys? You already know who it is. It's your boy Underdog coming back at you with yet another video, man. And listen, before we start this video, as you can see, you know what I'm saying? I'm probably going to have an intro in this video. I'm going to try it. You know, I done bulked up and I done got pretty big. You feel me? So DM me, you know what I'm saying, for products I'm using, for the program that I'm on, man. You can invest and go in and I'll set you up. But look, highly request the video, man. Um... I want y'all to leave in the comments. Let me know what y'all want me to, you know what I'm saying, post next. But look, here's a story about the time a witch actually tried to take my soul, quote unquote, you know, call it what you want to call it. Tried to put a spell on me, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of you guys would think that um a witch is, you know what I'm saying, most of the time a woman. But turns out this time this witch was a man. So let's take a deep dive. All right, so give y'all the whole setting. So I was at Walmart. Well, starting off, I had, I got this car clip. Well, we had this car clip, and um, this was about 2018, and we would ride around, go everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Post up places, typical car things. You know how car um gangs is, how biker gangs is. You just hang out, and chill in parking lots. You know, places like that, parks, lakes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And um. We went to Walmart. It was maybe 9.30 at night, 10 p.m. when we went. And um, we were just sitting, chilling, you know what I'm saying? Just vibing, you know what I'm saying? Chilling. And um, the night started to become a little weird because first, a random person came up to us. It was a man. And he was like, um, he was like, one of y'all give me a ride? I give you five bones if you do. And we all sit there and look, we was like, and uh, I just look, I said, I was like, nah, I'm good. Everybody said, nah, they're good. And then he was like, all right, and he just walked off. And so I'm going to say maybe 30 to 40 minutes later, you know, we're sitting chilling. We steady talking, man. And you know me, I'm always, I'm checking my surroundings. You know, I'm still checking my surroundings, looking around because I believe, I believe, believe, believe in the supernatural world, you know, in the supernatural occurrences. I believe in all of it. I believe in demonic possession. I believe in every last bit of it because I know it can happen. And I know it's true, you know what I'm saying? And I just know that expect the unexpected in this world. And um, so I never underestimate anything that can happen when you're out like that. That's why I'm always in an overprotective mode when I'm looking around and I'm by myself. And so, man, look. We had four Dodge Chargers. They were all lined up. And um, so, turns out, this man approaches us. First thing I noticed about him, he had like some, it was like, I can't describe what type of rings there was, but the rings were like, they had like a long stem up. Up, no, no. The rings, they was regular round rings, but they had a long stem at the bottom. It was like dangling keys, except for it was just stems, basically, just long stems, whatever you want to call them. But it was like dangling keys, and he had like three of them on his hand. And he had the Anchor Life, the Uncle Life tat, not tattoo, but the Uncle Life um chain. And, um, okay, so I was just looking at him. We all looking at him. I, I noticed him first. I knew something was off about him because he slowly but surely kept walking up to us, kept looking at our cars. I knew something was... I knew something was up. And okay. So he walks up. And doesn't say a word. Doesn't say a word. Walks up. Does. He looks at all our cars. Goes around once. Full circle. Goes around twice. Full circle. And he had a cane as well. I meant to add that. Then goes around one more time. The circle is almost complete. And he stops like at the half of the circle and ends up in my car. And now, let me say this. My car, you know how the older model 2014 Dodge Chargers, they have a little long light on the side of the back bumper. It's a long light on the side of the back bumper. And mine was gone because um, I believe my bumper flew off and it just went missing. That's a whole nother story. But um, he's seen that and he goes... Whose car is this? And I say it's mine. And he was like, he was like, your light missing, son. Let me let me show you. I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm still over here. And he was like, 
He was like, um, he was like, well, you know, your life's missing and stuff like that. I like, I know. And um, he was like, so um, he was like, do you believe in Jesus Christ? I was like, yeah. And he was like, um, what church do you go to? I said, Liberty Hill, past chapel. And um, he was like, um, he was like, well, he was like, what all did they call Jesus Christ? And I said, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Lord and Savior. And um, he was like, nah. He was like, what else do they call him? What is his other names? And I was like, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, Lord and Savior. And he was like, nah, that still ain't it. And then after I tried to answer it again, he, he looks at me and he says, enjoy your trip in hell. And then he walks off and then like in the middle of it, he says, and your friends too. And so we look and we sit there and we're all just sitting around pondering the thoughts of what he just told us of how he specifically pointed me out only didn't say nothing to nobody else. He just pointed me out only. And we're just sitting there pondering. And we say, you know what? We finna go up in Walmart and we finna look for this man and ask him some questions because something's not right. So we walk up on him again in Walmart. And my homie says, why did you say that out there? And the man just flips out. He goes, "He, I forgot exactly what he said, but he was basically saying that he's trying to attack him in a way. He was just, he was just, you know what I'm saying? Just rambling off at the mouth and just real aggressive about it. And, you know, everybody in Walmart was saying, you know, he always comes up in here. You know, he's always disrespectful and loud and just a pushover and stuff like that. And so later on that night, you know, we all go home. I'm still thinking about everything because I'm like, why would he just come to me? Out of everybody in that group, he only came to me. He stopped in my car and he answered, you know what I mean? And he asked me the questions. He didn't ask anybody else no questions. It was just me out of the whole entire group. So I got the, you know what I'm saying? Ask some people who I know that is familiar with voodoo. That you know what I'm saying? Not to judge them or anything because people do make mistakes. They do try things, you know, when they're young. And, you know, eventually you can't repent and come to Christ. So I asked some people about voodoo and stuff. And um, come to find out. Voodoo rituals is three. It's like, you know what I'm saying? I don't really want to get banned on here or some, you know, I really don't want to get banned. But basically, you know, like with the rituals and stuff, it's certain rituals that, you know what I'm saying, requires three circles. It requires, you know, three something. It just requires three. Now, remember what I said earlier prior in the video? At the two and a half mark of the circle, he stopped in my car. He was walking and he was trying to walk in three circles around all three cars. So now you see what his goal was. But as far as me coming to the conclusion of why he just pointed me out, I believe it's because he knew out of everybody in that group that I was the most spiritually awoken one in the group. He knew it. Nobody else in that group were as, I'm to my hat, that no, none of them has a spiritual wherewithal, the spiritual awareness that I have in that group. That's how you know, and it was a supernatural attack because he specifically attacked me. And I'm the only one out of that group that takes, you know what I'm saying, God, you know what I'm saying, spirituality, all this. The only one that takes is actually serious into the heart in their everyday life. So he targeted me. Now, man, I done had a couple of encounters, a couple of encounters of witches and stuff like that, man. And, you know, man, I'll save that for the next story time, you know, if you guys want to see it. But look, whatever else you guys want to see, man, you got to let me know, man. But, yeah, witches are real, man. Protect yourself, you know, stay prayed up. They can only infiltrate you, you know, if you just lost. But you know what I'm saying, man? Let me know what you guys want to see. I always keep God first. God bless, man. Peace.